Every golfer wants to be more consistent and the secret to that consistency is better ball striking. And that's the big difference between the professionals and the amateurs is the quality of the ball striking, that ability to find the sweet spot time after time after time. A quality ball striker can get out of the rough, get out of trouble more easily and get up and down more often because they're more consistent. If you want to improve your ball striking and really take your game to the next level, you have two options. You can either hit hundreds of thousands of golf balls, and I'm not exaggerating there, that's what it takes, or you can follow the principles in today's lesson and learn to improve your contact much more quickly. G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you be the best golfer you can be. Now I know what you're thinking, he's a pro, he's got a good golf swing, it's easy for him to find the sweet spot. It's not about that. What we're gonna focus on today is improving skill. So for sure, good technique helps us to be more consistent and we encourage you to keep striving to improve your technique. But we also need to improve our skill level. So the problem that golfers face is that it's all happening so fast that we can't actually see which part of the club is hitting the golf ball. We obviously want to hit it right there out of the sweet spot, but we might hit it a bit low on the face, a bit high on the face, a bit towards the toe, or a bit towards the heel, or a lot. But the important thing here is that we notice that most golfers aren't really aware of what part of the club is hitting the ball, and that's a real problem. So that's where we're gonna start. We need some quality feedback so that we can then be more aware of what's happening and then learn to control from there. So that quality feedback starts with getting a mark. So I'm gonna use a dry erase pen, a whiteboard marker. I'm gonna put a small mark on the golf ball here, just where the line is, a half inch long. And we're gonna place that contact point right down here. And the strike point is the bottom half. So you see there, we've got the line right down the bottom. I've got a seven iron here. So that's the contact point for any iron. A little bit different with the driver, but that's where we're gonna focus. So now let's see if we can find out where I hit this next shot. There you go, that definitely wasn't out the middle. What we see here is a little low on the club face and a little bit towards the heel. Not very good contact. So that in itself is a powerful visual of where the contact is. And that's an incentivizer to strive to improve. So let's mark up another one, see if we can do a little bit better. So you might be asking yourself, well, why did I miss hit that shot? Did I not watch the ball closely enough? Well, think about the logistics of it. The club is traveling around about three yards up over the shoulder, another three yards down. I've missed the sweet spot by an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch maybe. So logistically, it's pretty challenging. The good news is that we are capable of getting better at it, even without changing our swing. So remember what I said earlier, that quality feedback leads to greater awareness and that greater awareness helps to improve control. So I'm gonna leave that first mark there. It felt a little better, sounded better too. The mark is ever so slightly towards the heel still, but higher up the club face. Just by getting that visual of your contact, we're starting to improve contact and that's a much higher quality practice than just hitting those hundreds of thousands of golf balls that I talked about earlier. We want to have that quality feedback. So sure, you might be a good enough golfer that you can feel which part of the club face is hitting the golf ball, but it's still not as precise and not as powerful as the visual representation that a whiteboard marker is going to give you. So now I've hit two shots out of the heel slightly. What if that's chronic? It's not for me, but let's say it's chronic. So someone's hitting a lot of shots out of the heel. What should we do? We know we're hitting out the heel, but we can't seem to fix it. What we need to do then is we need to employ some differential practice. So we're gonna do something different to the shot pattern, the habit. And that's what it comes down to, it's a habit. And we see a lot of golfers have this habit of hitting towards the heel or hitting towards the bottom a little bit, or hitting towards the toe very consistently. Great way to break a habit is to do the exact opposite. So I've hit two shots out the heel, and I would suggest that you give yourself more like five or six shots before you see a pattern. Now I'm gonna do the opposite. Doesn't mean I'm gonna set up out the toe, I'm gonna set up normally, because it's not about how far away from the golf ball you stand. 
It's about spatial awareness. Me contacting those shots out of the heel, and if it's a chronic problem, it just means that we need to recalibrate the position of the club at impact. The club might start in the center, but obviously through the swing, it's moved a hint away from me, and that's what we need to improve. So now I'm gonna do the opposite, see if I can hit it out the toe. Same setup position. And this time I'm gonna come down so the club is a little closer to me. That contact is gonna be out the toe. And there we see it, a really exaggerated toe contact. And that's exactly what I was striving to achieve because that toe contact is basically demonstrating that I have control over where the club head is. So if you're hitting out the heel, uh, so hit half a dozen shots out of the toe, then after you've done that, have another go at hitting it out the sweet spot. Now these are whiteboard markers, so they'll rub off. Fresh slate. And there we go. Right out the high diddle diddle. Now this is exactly the type of training that's important for a golfer that doesn't get too much time to practice. And let's face it, we don't have the time hitting those hundreds of thousands of golf balls. So this quality type of practice is where you can really strive to improve your ball striking and therefore your consistency. It does come down to having higher quality feedback of what's going on so that we're more aware of our contact and that way we can improve control. And don't just strive to hit it out the middle all the time. If you're miss hitting shots, then you going to find that you need to exaggerate the change to break that habit and, and you can do it, regardless of whether you have a great golf swing or not. It's also vitally important that you learn better turf interaction and you need to hit the turf after the golf ball. So this simple little drill is going to help you to achieve that much more often. There's your free training guide, all the notes from today's session. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to your company next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?